Injection technique, the inferior alveolar mandibular nerve block. Set the wand system to the normal mode, which allows the wand system to function with two distinct flow rates, the controlled flow rate and the rapid flow rate. Utilize the controlled flow rate to administer a minimum of one quarter of the cartridge for the initial phase of the block injection. Once the patient feels the onset of soft tissue anesthesia, transition to the rapid flow rate. In the normal mode, the foot control has two distinct foot control positions. Depressing the foot control lightly allows you to enter the controlled flow rate. Fully depressing the foot control allows you to enter rapid flow rate. It is recommended that you use a 27 gauge 1 and 1 quarter inch needle to perform the inferior alveolar nerve block. Set the wand to the normal mode. Approach the site as you would normally using the traditional anatomical landmarks of the oral cavity. To initiate the injection using cruise control, slightly depress the foot control. After three beeps, you will hear the wand system announce cruise. Immediately release the foot control pedal to enter into the cruise control mode. This allows the controlled flow rate to continue to dispense anesthetic solution, creating an anesthetic zone in front of the tip of the needle. The technique of creating an anesthetic pathway does require a very slow and deliberate needle movement, allowing the anesthetic solution to deliberately proceed the path that the needle will take. Slowly advance the wand handpiece and simultaneously rotate the handpiece using a clockwise and counterclockwise motion, which is called the birotational insertion technique. This technique will minimize needle deflection, resulting in more accurate placement of the needle tip to the intended target. Advance the needle until bone is contacted. The final target is the medial aspect of the ramus within the infratemporal fossa. Once you are at your target site, perform an aspiration by depressing and releasing the foot control. If the aspiration is negative, continue the injection. If aspiration is positive, reposition the needle and repeat aspiration by depressing and releasing the foot control pedal again until a negative aspiration is obtained. Continue the injection by depressing the foot control pedal. It is recommended that the first quarter of the cartridge be dispensed using the controlled flow rate before you transition to the second faster rapid flow rate. Should you require more than one anesthetic cartridge, you can reload subsequent cartridges and continue as required.